Honestly, Daddy, I'm not happy with you today. I am not happy with you at all. You made me feel unimportant. <sighs> Mommy, how can you say that I make you feel unimportant? When you know that you are the most important human being to me in this life, if we're talking about physicality because you cannot compete with God. Then why didn't you show it? Today was the perfect time for you to show the world how important I am to you. But no, the only opportunity you had today, you blew it away. Because I did not put my hand on your waist to take pictures. Of course. Why didn't you? My waist is yours to behold. Why can't you just cling onto my waist? It's yours now, Daddy. It wasn't fair. Mommy, I hope you remember that I am a pastor. And I am a pastor's wife. Exactly. I know your next lines. But then it's not fair. I felt humiliated today. At the event, the perfect time for us to take pictures. You just put your hand on my shoulder like a commoner, like a normal sister in church. Everybody was just looking at me. How come my husband, my darling husband, just put his hand on my shoulder? You're supposed to cling onto my waist. <sighs> Mommy. I was only trying to be modest. And I have the public. Most of these people look up to you and I as their mentors and role models. Huh? You don't expect me to, you know, to lose my cool in, in, in public. Modest. Yes. Daddy, modest. Yeah. By putting your hand on my shoulder. Me, your loving wife. You know? I, 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 I was not happy, oh. People, they were just looking at me. Mommy, I think that it is time for us to go into prayers and thank God Almighty for the success of another program in church as the ministry is moving forward. I think that it's time for us to show gratitude to the creator of heaven and earth for the outpour of his blessings and his children. Would you mind leading us? Yes, for the Lord in, I can. In worship? Yes, Daddy. Greater than Thou the greatest. Indeed, you are God over us. Lord. I thank you for the ministry. <sighs> Mommy. Mommy. Mm? Listen, uh, I just want you to know that I am still sorry about earlier. I'm sorry. It's okay. I've heard you. Thank you. But hmm? if you want me to forgive you, Then kiss me. Hmm? Kiss me, at least we are not in a public place. Mommy. Come on, kiss me. Mommy. Kiss your wife, come on. Mommy, stop it. I won't. Hmm? Listen, I don't want us to get carried away, okay? Carried away how? We are married now. Let me ask you. Are you... Ovulating now? No. So what's the point? We shouldn't be doing this. Stop this thing now. We should Mommy. Say... Good night. I, I, I don't... Only be when I'm ovulating, we'll be having sex as a couple. Like you're for real like this. You're just going to leave your wife hanging. You will not touch your wife. <laughs> so, my dear, these are actually the benefits of marriage, you know. Hmm. But trust me, no one comes close to the sex life. Hey. I mean, you get to have this sweet and romantic conversation with your husband. You get to explore good sex life, no sex styles, you know. And trust me, my husband. It's so amazing. Oh. That guy takes me to cloud nine. Really? Yes. You know, there's this textile he gives to me that when he gives it to me, like my legs will start shaking. And there's this one that he does that like, he was just as if he wants to strangle me. <laughs> Girl, my husband is too good to the extent that all the time I want to have sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, I always want to make love all the time because mm. you need to see how good my husband is. Uh. I think you should try that out with your husband, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's your thing. <laughs> What's funny? Uh, darling Fred, is it the sex that you just mentioned now? I can't do it with my husband. Forget it. I will never experience it. Uh, why not? <laughs> I mean, you have your husband for exploration, so why? My husband is a pastor, and he's only interested in the godly race. And what does that have to do with this? Uh, my darling friend, never mind, please. Eh, hey, hey, I mind, though. I mind. That reminds me, now that we're having this conversation, I think it's the right time for me to bring up this topic. Do you know that ever since you got married, your dress sense have changed? Unlike you that I know years back now. You're now looking like an old man. You, you're dressing. I don't even understand your dressing these days. What's going on? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, sure. What's happening to you now? Sharp Tana. I mean, you've, you used to be so classy and looking all gang gang. I don't know what's going on. What sort of dressing is this? Are you sure you're okay? I got married to a pastor. Mm -hmm. And I'm a momichio in the church. I have to be a Proverbs 31 woman to my husband. And besides, he likes me dressing like this. He wants me to dress like this so I can be the perfect momichio for his ministry. So let it be. Oh, so because you're a pastor's wife, you now have to, you will turn to an old woman overnight. Because you're a pastor's wife, you have to dress like this. So are you saying that pastors, wife, they don't look good? They don't do makeup? They don't wear this nice outfits? my husband wants me to dress now. I have to respect my husband. You know he's important. Eh. If you say so. But I am not still cool with it all. I'm not still cool with the dressing. It's okay. Forget and you need to you. teach your husband how to be giving you good sex. You know, you know they just started my husband usually does. He will raise my legs up, open it wide and... Fire it. You really? should let all this is. Yes. Do it with your husband. There's this one that I will lay on the bed and he will just raise my head up and be doing it. Eternal King of Glory, I thank you for all that you have done. For indeed you have shown that you are bigger than the biggest, greater than the greatest. I thank you for the love you have shown myself, the love that you have shown to my family. The love and the growth the ministry have witnessed. Indeed, you have shown that your grace and mercy shall continue to abide with us. Heavenly Father, we are thankful. We are grateful. We pray that your mercy and loving kindness continues to rest with us. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I have prayed. Amen. Mommy, you look um, a bit worried. What is it? Sure. It's just that I was having a conversation with. Never mind. Daddy, there's this sex style where a man lifts up a woman's legs. Lord of sky, Jesus. Spreads it apart and then. The devil is a liar. Stop. I wanted us to try it tonight. Gracious God. Mommy. Yes. Why? Why will you allow such thoughts cross your mind? Why? Because it's ungodly. Yes, it is ungodly. <sighs> Unless you must have noticed I have just finished praying and I'm not going to allow such sex talks. But you do have sex with Such me. conversation contaminate the serenity of this atmosphere. Honestly, Daddy, I don't understand. You do have sex with me. So what's wrong with talking about sex? 
the book of Ephesians 4.29 states, Do not allow any unwholesome word to come out of your mouth, but only what will help build others according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. So you see, all of these other styles were created by men of iniquity. Men who are used as tools by the devil to lead mankind to hell. Mommy, the only position, if you will, that is approved is the missionary position. And if you pay attention, you would notice that the word missionary is holy. I see. Good night. Mother of all nations, so beautiful. Blessed art thou amongst women, a woman of favor. Look at she, full of grace. When they see you, mommy, they see grace. <laughs> Daddy, honestly, I look awkward. Oh, no, you look perfect. You look beautiful. This is what the world needs, decency, and you exude. Decency. Huh? The only reason you are saying this is because this is how you want me to dress. Oh no, this is what the world needs. This is what the world wants. Huh? Decency. And you exude decency. You're a role model to a lot of young girls. And I want them to see grace when they see you. Remember that my anointing flows through you. Uh, huh? Daddy. I am going to work for crying out loud. I'm supposed to look good, corporate, and attractive. Mommy, true attractiveness comes from God. And when they see you, they should see grace. For grace shall speak wherever you go. I declare and I decree, as you go out, you shall find favor in the sight of men. Amen. All doors that you shall knock upon shall be opened unto you. When men say there is a casting down, you shall say that there is a lifting up. Amen. And you're not for work. The Spirit is speaking. Sorry. You're a child of victory. For it is written, that you are going to go out there and do exploits. Amen. You shall touch lives. You shall travel to the ends of the world. Amen. And people shall know God because of you. Amen. Amen. You shall continue to exude grace. Amen. You shall reach out to the ends of the world. families are blessed. Our generation is blessed. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for your love. Thank Amen. you for your guidance. Amen. Thank you for your protection. Amen. For thank you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What is wrong? What is going on? That was fast. Are you trying to rush God? Daddy, it was not fast now. I've been praying for close to 20 minutes No, it now. was very fast, Mommy. Come on. That was fast. Almost as if you were trying to rush God. You know what? I think that we should start afresh. Start afresh again? Yes. After that long prayer? 
Uh, me, I'm tired. I had a long day at work. How can we be starting afresh again now? I've prayed already. God has heard us. Mommy, calm down. Relax. Something is definitely going on with you, Lily. You've been quite edgy, but I must remind you that we're in the presence of God. You must get used to the idea of communing with God effortlessly and at all times. For the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.17, pray. Pray without ceasing. Mm. Come on, let us pray. Okay, now. Let's pray for seven days non-stop. Let's see if you won't be tired. Ha -ha. I've been praying since. Sometimes we pray for 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. But now I'm tired. I went to work. I'm very tired. Even God rested after the creation of man. Genesis 2-7. Me, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. You can continue with the prayers. Let me rest. And I'm starting work early in the morning tomorrow. We've been praying. I prayed. 20 minutes. I prayed. Ah, -ha. prayed for everybody. How do you want me to continue without you? We must pray. It is imperative that we pray. We pray for the ministry. We pray for our members. We pray for the family. We must pray without ceasing. Huh? I don't know, but. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds. Mommy. Daddy, good morning. Good morning. I hope you slept well. By the grace of the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, the one that you and I serve, I slept well. Thank God. Yeah. I see that you're chopping up tomatoes and pepper and onions. What are you doing? I'm trying to prepare something really quick to eat. Are you I serious? feel weak. Yeah. Did you forget that today is Friday? It's a day for prayer and fasting. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, but then it doesn't matter. I feel sick, so I'm trying to prepare something real quick so that I can take medication. Mm -mm 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 I don't know. You talk like an unbeliever, mommy. You must speak with confidence, and you speak now as though you have no faith in the one that you serve. God shall continue to reign supreme over your life and your health. This is exactly what the devil wants you to do. The devil wants you to succumb to food and then you become weak spiritually. Huh? Even the Bible tells us to dare to declare and decree and so shall it be. Have you declared this morning that you are well and fine? Have you done so? Yes, I have declared myself healed. But then again, I still feel weak. Besides, heaven help those who help themselves. I know, I say no. Not in all cases now. You have to work by faith. Hmm? Yeah. You cannot succumb to the demands of the devil. You're a shining light in the ministry. You are our mommy. Let me just prepare this one. Hmm? Next time I'll fast. I'm really sick. Mm -mm. Can I say no? You cannot do that. You cannot succumb. You're a shining light in the ministry, mommy. You're a role model. You are a general mommy. Eh? A lot of people in other states and other places are fasting today because they know that you will be fasting. How would it be if it is heard that you broke fast because you want to eat exos? My darling wife, I know how you feel, okay? But as a role model, you must lead by example. Your responsibility is to make sacrifices that a lot of people will emulate. You pray, you fast, you stand in for your husband to ensure that everything is going well with him and for him as it has to do with the ministry. 
Jesus. Therefore, you and I shall continue to remain on the mountain today and pray. Remember Man also... Man shall not live by bread alone. But I am really feeling weak. Let me just make small egg sauce and yam and... Man shall not live by bread alone. Drop it, drop it, drop it. It's time for prayers. Prayers. Come on, let me help you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, I was led by the Spirit today to talk to the people of God mm. and, and win souls online. Uh, we live in a time where the digital media space requires the presence of God. That's very good. So that the children of God will align with God's purpose for them. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Me, my day today, work was stressful. <laughs> ah, work was stressful. It would interest you to know that this live session had new members. Oh yes, we had new people who logged on. Over 500 persons. 500? Very impressive. Ah, impressive. Very impressive. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, God. God is the greatest. Very impressive. <sighs> Daddy, do you know that my boss, he now told me that I should take over Jacob's job. That Jacob wasn't doing the work well, that Tana needs to The comment section was, was buzzing with testimonies today. Oh. Oh, you there to see the <laughs> children of God testify. Oh, nice. It was explosive. Yes, that's great, that's great. I tell you. That's great. That's I tell great. you. So as I was saying, he told me that I should do Jacob's job. I said, okay. I went to meet Jacob. I said, Jacob. You see that company that you are handling their stuff? Boss said I should be the one to do it. And I, I am very okay. positive that the next online session would be even more explosive. And I'm hoping that you'll be present to join us. Hmm? Daddy, don't you think that you're a little bit selfish here? I mean, I got back from work. I joined you in the rounding up of your live session. You did not even ask me how my day was or work or anything. But still, I was still trying to tell you as my husband. Then you just moved past this service that you just had. Now you're talking about next week service. And you're not even paying attention to me. You're not even listening to me. Like you don't even care about me. How did my work go? How is everything? Are you fine? You said you were stressed. How did it go? No concern. It's just you, 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 the ministry and everything. It's not fair. Are you not happy that the ministry is growing 
and leaps and bounds. You know that I am happy about that, but what I'm not happy about is that you're not even looking at me. You should excite your spirit that we're winning souls. And heaven is happy with us. Okay, nothing I'll say now, win anything. Let me go and freshen up. Thank you. It is well. I'm um, Pastor James. Daddy. I must say that I am impressed with what you're doing. Thank you very much, Daddy. With the youth department uh, of the church. Amazing work. Thank you, sir. And I can say that overall, um, every department so far is looking good. Wow. And the ministry is moving forward. And if we continue at the space, mm. green life in Christ ministry will be in Ghana. Amen. South Africa. Praise God. Kenya. <laughs> and then we'll begin to look at North Africa. Hallelujah. Because we need to win souls for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm? Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know, Daddy, <clears throat> trust me. You are the best, one of the best men of God in the globe, honestly speaking. You are, the, the word is not ready for you yet. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, your anointing is second to none. Your heart is as white as snow. Your spirituality is deeply rooted in the mystery of the Most High God. Ah, thank you. You flatter me too much. <laughs> Good day, uh, Mom. You flatter me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I would like to talk to you. It's very urgent. Uh, mommy, not now. I am invested in a very powerful with Pastor James here. Uh, it's, you can go. Uh, when I'm done, I'll come talk to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, you were saying? Oh, Daddy, honestly, I, I so much love the way you handle things. Nothing comes or distracts you. Of course, of course, of course. Especially of course. your wife. As for now, the goal is the progress uh, of the ministry. Amen. Uh, Amen. Even as we run the heavenly race. Yes, praise God. Uh, praise <laughs> God. <laughs> Sister Chini, how are you doing? Uh, I would like her to work with the accountant. Uh, yes. Um, and the next time you come around, um, we all sit down with the accountant. I need to see the books again. I want us to come up with an outreach program to give back to the community. Uh, well, Daddy, I don't think you should worry yourself about that. No, I, not like I'm worried. I, I, I can handle it. I can handle it. It's a... Oh, you can? Yeah, definitely I can handle it. Okay. You have much work already, so <laughs> let me do it myself. That's fine. Exactly, sir. That is fine. Um, do well to ensure that um, the accountant is here with you Perfect. Um, very soon mm -hmm. so that I can see what you have come up with. It's fine. And then we'll go from there. That's, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Thank you very much, Daddy. Holy Father, I thank you for making things perfect in your own time, Father. I am excited in the spirit. And for as long as I live, my mouth shall continue to testify to the goodness of the Lord. My darling wife, eh, Mommy, uh, you wanted to have a talk with me. Again. Daddy, haven't I been a good wife to you? Haven't I been a good mother to your ministry? Why are you talking like this? You will never see your wrongs. When will you realize that I am your wife? When will you start taking care of me and treating me as your wife? Oh no, now you've gone down the lane of disrespecting me. Hi, don't talk like that. Huh? Why would I want to disrespect you? Why would I disrespect my wife? Huh? You're not understanding these things the right way. Is it because of what happened? Mm -hmm. No. I was having an important talk with our church people. That could have waited. What if I had an emergency? Mm, the God we serve would not put us in that situation. Uh, okay. We serve a living God. I am confident that whatever it is could wait. And that is why I'm here now to hear you out. 
Mommy, I take care of you. Oh. Eh? I provide for you. I provide for this house. How? The church. It is because of the church that I am able to do all of these things. The church is important. Then get a job. Get a job and take care of us. And stop depending on, on them and stop this whole, this whole obsession. Is that an obsession? <sighs> and it's not about getting any kind of job. Mommy, it is about doing the work. <laughs> the work of God. I see. You will never get it. This is not ordinary. Honestly, I think this is not ordinary. I'm very sorry, but I think you're under the jurisdiction of an evil spirit. Uh, mm. Language? <sighs> Mommy, language. Now I'm watching my language, Daddy. Hmm. Hmm. It is well. Oh. I'm not going to do this today. So everything that I said now, it does not make any sense. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, you are wonderful. You're not going to ask me why I'm angry. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So you will not care that your wife is pained? Uh, did you see my reading glasses? I don't see anything. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It's okay. house without grace. Hmm? It is well. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Like the rivers of water, he turns it whenever he wishes. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. Look, babe. I might not know everything, but I do know that a man that truly loves you would do everything to make you happy. Right. He will always put you first in every situation. I am speaking from experience. Exactly. But my husband, he's so obsessed with the ministry. I mean, he doesn't even look at me. He doesn't take care of me. He doesn't even show me so much affection. I try my best to support him as his wife. But then again, he doesn't value it. Hello. You were the one who wanted a cute pastor for a husband. So do not complain. Please, Thank I you. I not sign up for this, Abek. Uh, what is it? It's too much now. Did I make a mistake? What's all this? He's always so stiff. He's never flexible. His law, his rule, everything is his way or the highway. It's too much, I beg. Well, you can do this, Mommy Gio. Just eh, stand strong. Eh, eh, eh. Mommy Gio thing just end for us. Hey, babe. Me amor. Hey, baby. Come here, sugar. How are you? I'm fine. Baby, I miss you so much. I miss you too. You too. <laughs> Mommy Gio is here. <laughs> oh. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Bye. Can you tell me how was work today? Oh, my day was stressful, but I couldn't just stop thinking about you. I hope you didn't eat anything at work because I oh, made Alfredo pasta I for you. I cannot wait to eat your food. <laughs> I missed yeah. you. <laughs> and here she. Ah, come, 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 come. Ah, ah. Mommy, mommy. Mother of all nations, please. See. Huh? The apple of God's eye. 
You're welcome. And good evening. How was your day? Fine. It is well. <clears throat> they say that where there is no peace, the Spirit of God does not dwell therein. My darling mommy, you will agree with me that the devil has been raging in this marriage for quite some time. But I am confident in God that he is going to win again, as always. The devil? Oh yes, the devil. <laughs> Do you mean devil? Or the human that takes the form of the devil? Mommy, you have been throwing daggers at me for some time now. And as a Christian, you know that it is not nice. Hmm. Hmm? Of course. Because you are frustrating me. You are not treating me well. You are not making me feel loved. Unlike other women. See the way their husband treats them so nice, pampers them, takes care of them, looks at them, show them love, PDA, kisses them, everything. But you, no. Everything is boring. Ah. Eh, mommy, what is PDA? Public display of affection. Oh my God, blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, take control. In the public, affection. Ah, mommy, you're a child of God. You have, you have to, you have to watch your language. You cannot sound like unbelievers and think like unbelievers. Public display of affection is not for believers. It is for the wayward. However, I am going to pretend that you have not said all you have said here. It gladdens my heart, however, to remind you that your birthday is in a few days' time. And as your husband, as your spiritual head, as the one who stands as your pillar, I want you to tell me what you want. I want you to tell me what I must do on that day to make that day special. Are you for real? Mm-hmm. Okay. Honestly, I didn't have plans in mind <laughs> because we haven't been on the best of terms for some days now. Even me, I've forgotten. I did not make any plans. But since you have decided to take me as first place in your life. I'm excited about that. But let me quickly remind you that I have always put you first in everything. I have. Hmm. Oh yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> oh yes. Well, one of my love languages is words of affirmation. So you have decided to do something special for me and you are asking me that anything I want you to do, you are going to do it. I've always wanted my darling husband to, you know, write me a love letter. Like mean it from your heart. Like pour all your love, all your affection. Like, I want to feel loved. Like I want to hear it from my husband, like written, you know, I really want a love letter. 
at least that one is <laughs> small and any other thing you want to add that's okay but the most important one to me is the love letter <sighs> you want a love letter mm. yes yes it is well <laughs> a love letter you seek mm -hmm. a love letter you shall get <laughs> amen amen, amen. <laughs> <laughs> this, sounds, <laughs> this sounds really good <laughs> i look forward to it <laughs> daddy have you eaten anything the lord takes care of me let me quickly save you your dinner i am taken care of Absolutely excited. I mean, a love letter from the man I love. <laughs> mm. What could be more interesting? Nothing beats that, my mm -mm. friend. Nothing, no. Because as I am right now, I am excited. My body is just in it. I can't wait. <laughs> you know, I am super excited for you today. <laughs> You're just in with so much excitement on your face. I am happy for me too. <laughs> oh, my husband is actually a sweet man. Uh, you mean daddy? <laughs> Stop. Come on, is that not what you call yourself? Mommy, stop. daddy. Stop it, girl. <laughs> oh my god. Don't kill my vibe. That's okay. the most boring thing I've ever heard in the book of couplehood. I beg your pardon. You know, there's this vibe between I and my husband. This guy calls me sweet names like Mi Amor, My Love, <laughs> My Sweetness. Ah. Obim, that one, that one taunts my head when he calls me Obim. I beg, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I've had enough, I beg. I don't want to sleep into a depression. No, Thank see, you. you need to teach your husband. You need to teach him, call him all these sweet names. He will learn. Sometimes you romance him, touch him, don't call worry. him. See, after today. <laughs> We're going to go crazy. Really? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Oil! Everything! I hope you're going to gist me tomorrow. Why would I gist you? I, I don't gist so. you, I gist. No, 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 no. Don't go and mess up. Don't go and mess it up. I can't wait. Ah, <laughs> I'm happy for you, time. my friend. <laughs> I will see the romantic side of my husband. Ah. <laughs> I really want to hear the gist. Mommy, mommy, <laughs> see the birthday girl. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Uh, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, mommy. Uh, Thank and you. I pray that God continues to give you the strength to be my strength. <laughs> uh, that was a good rhyme, I believe. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, sugar. Hmm? What was that? Um, Which one is sugar? Yeah, sugar. I just thought to, you know, spice things up a bit. Ah, that was strange. <laughs> if you're tired of calling me uh, daddy. There are a lot of other things you can call me. You can call me pastor. Mm. Or you can call me apostle, you know. Or the anointed mantle. <laughs> eh? Really? Or fire fire. <laughs> you know, as the children of God that we are, we must be on spiritual alert at all times. <laughs> eh? So that the enemy does not take us unawares and trample on us. Eh? <laughs> Mommy! Be alert. All right. Be alert. <laughs> the anointed man, so I've heard you. <laughs> so, what about my letter? I've been looking forward to it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have it ready. Thank you. Right. Okay. And then. Um, and press my legs. There you go. Uh, you know what? Just read it to me. Uh, you want me to read to you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Okay, mm. I want you to know that um, this letter came straight from the depths of my heart. Oh. Okay, yes. 
it is important that you know that. Um, <clears throat> and so I read. Okay. Mommy, happy birthday. <laughs> I will start this letter with a scripture from the Bible. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. From every love that exists on the sphere of the earth, that of Jesus Christ remains supreme. Also, 1 John 3.16 says, Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us. Ultimate love. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. What love can be greater than this? And so, on this special day of yours, mommy, I pray that the love of God abounds with you. For God is love, and love is God, and Him will learn how to love. Happy birthday, Mommy. <coughs> is this playing? Is this the love letter? Mm -hmm. so what is wrong with it? This, this is it. I don't get. I said you should write me a love letter and you're writing me scriptures from... Is this... What? Don't is you... Is this a love letter or a sermon? Oh, what, mommy, What's going on down. here? Calm down. This is a beautiful love letter from my heart with supernatural inspiration from the Holy Spirit. Supernatural inspiration from, from the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit for a love letter. Ah, God. You just ruined my day. Okay. She wanted a love letter. I wrote a love letter. And now, it is well. It is well. Please let me be. Mommy. Why are you sad? Please let me be. You have succeeded in ruining my special day. How? You wanted a love letter. I wrote you a love letter. And that was it. I mean, don't you have a glimpse of what it means to be romantic? To be loving, to soften a woman's heart with love? What other words can soften a woman's heart better than the word of God? Hmm? Anyways, I got you a gift. Oh, no, 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 please. No, at this point, you've already ruined the whole love letter thing. Oh, no, don't worry. I don't want any more from you. Mom, Just let me be. Trust me, this gift will elevate your mood. Eh? Come on. Go ahead. I got you one of the finest gifts anyone can get on their birthday. Go ahead. It's better be good. I'm very tired. You see, <sighs> I told you that this will elevate your spirit. Yeah. These are the presents. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I cannot do regular gifts. All right, these gifts will will increase your spiritual dimensions. Daddy. Yes. Please leave the room. 
Why? Please leave the room. I want to be left alone. <sighs> May the peace of the Lord. Be. Daddy, please get out, please. Ah. But this birthday, this is what you got for me. This. This is well. These are spiritual uplifting materials. However, I shall give you the space that you need. Who did I offend? Who? Who? Program was perfect. <laughs> Pastor James, I could feel the presence of God at every point. You know? Oh, Daddy, oh my goodness. <laughs> I praise the Lord because I felt it too. Look, you are a vessel. Thank you. And the oil on your head is second to none. Thank you. <laughs> praise be to God. Praise be to God. Amen. Thank you. Good morning, Pastor James. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And how are you? I'm very well. Good. Pastor James. <laughs> Mommy. My husband seems to spend more time with you than he spends with me. Uh, oh. For reasons very obvious, because you're always, and I'm not surprised, <laughs> because the way you're always moving around him like a bee. <laughs> well, with time you will get it. Maybe because now you're not yet married. But when you do, you understand where I'm coming from. Uh, uh, mommy. Daddy. I'll be on my way out now. Do take care, <laughs> Pastor James. <laughs> <sighs> um, Pastor James, you should not take any of that to heart. Uh, she's probably having a bad day and she's a woman. Sometimes they get very emotional. Hi, uh, I see you. However, I am trusting God to bless you with a virtuous woman very soon. Amen. The one that you can call amen. your wife. Yes, amen. The one that you can call your own and then start a family. Thank you very much, Daddy. I am so impressed. <laughs> Honestly, you have um, oh, calmed my soul. God bless you. God bless you too. Amen. Very important. Okay. I need you to... You need to get in touch with the planning committee. Okay. Um, the yearly crusade is coming up. Yeah. Yes. 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 I will need a team of evangelists. Exactly. Every bit of excitement in me has been sucked out. Like I don't get it. What is in this life? <laughs> a love letter of John 3.16? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh at my so, pain. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. You said what? <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Hmm. This is not funny though. You are a wife and you deserve to be loved for crying out loud. <sighs> god. This is this is sad to say. Ever since my one year of marriage, I have not experienced any bit of excitement. He's boring, stiff. My husband is rigid. Like he's always the ministry. Let's pray, let's fast. Okay, we do all of that, but he's so obsessed. He's so obsessed, he doesn't even listen to me. It's okay. Look, babe. Everything is in your hand. <laughs> you can change and mold him to what you want. <clears throat> you see that thing you just said now? That was that the other day. I called him sugar. <clears throat> you don't want to know the aftermath of it. Then do more. Make him to understand how much you want to be loved. How you want to be loved. Just try. Fight. See, you see that man? He has coconut head. He doesn't listen. It's his way or the highway. 
And besides, eh? I'm not a fighter now. I'm not. Anthony Joshua Ko. So fighter do you want to leave your husband? Not. No, but I just want some kind of enjoyment. I want to be loved. You know, I've been, you know how it is now. We've been looking forward to marriage. Like, even if we're not experimenting outside, let us experiment things in our house. Lovey dovey things, dance, go out, just breathe. <sighs> My dear, I don't tire. Haka, haka, ya. Haka, Jehovah, nemema. Alwe, bubea. Kene rugari nenuwa Isi yikendo Kanade ya tata Aka wakaya Aka jihova de mama Aka wakaya ho Aka jihova de mama Alwe bubea ho Kene rugari ne beno, e isi kendo kena de atata. Akaba kaya ho, aka Jesus Christ. Mommy, move. Daddy, uh, what is this? Look at your wife. I don't see my wife. Why are you acting like this? Are you shy? Mommy, move, 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 move. This, this is not an appropriate way to dress, Mommy. And you know, and you should do better. Alright? Mommy, please. What is uh, wrong with my dressing now, eh? <laughs> Mommy, can you just move? I am in a place of prayer. This is not the time for this. Please. Uh, why now? Why are you shy now? Don't we... I don't know who this person is. Please leave my presence. Stop now, Daddy. I decided to spice things up for us tonight now. Leave. I'm in a place of prayer. This is not the time okay, to have this kind prayers. of conversation. Please leave the room. Why would you dress like this? You're dressed like a prostitute. <sighs> Mommy, you should know better than to do this. Prostitute? How am I dressed like a prostitute? How can you call your wife a prostitute? Leave my room. You're dressed like a whore. Hey, ho. I'm sorry. Devil, not today. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I stand upon your name and authority to wage war against every unclean spirit hovering over the space. I rebuke you today. I rebuke you tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, get thee behind me, devil. What are you doing? I am dancing. To worldly music, mommy. What do you mean, worldly music? I was only dancing to a music that I love. Is it a crime? Oh, how my people perish for lack of knowledge. You should know better. <laughs> I don't understand. What are you insinuating? It is a sin. You know that it is a sin. You know that what you feed your eyes can affect your mind. I don't understand you. So, you know what? Don't you have other things to do? Like your live sessions, ministry work, preaching, talking to one sister or one brother on the phone. Don't you have other things to do? Please, can you just go and do all those things and leave me alone? I love this music, so let me dance to it. Are you talking to me like this? I am going to speak my mind. I have been bored and lonely in this house. You've been doing all that things and not paying attention to me, your wife. We don't talk, we don't communicate, we don't even do exciting things. And here I am trying to listen to, dance to a, a music that I love to just get rid of all this boredom. But then you're just here disturbing and frustrating me, telling me that I'm trying to corrupt my mind. If listening to my favorite music, we corrupt my mind, then fine. I give up my mind to corruption. 
Please, let me be. Uh -uh. Somebody cannot even do exciting things in this house. So if you just say, oh, let me join you. Let's dance. We don't dance, we don't go out, we don't even do fun things. We do pray, listen to music, everything. I'm bored, please. So if you to stay and join me and dance, let's not be boring. No. I want to off the music. Sorry for the way I yelled at you yesterday. I'm really sorry. It's not in my nature to yell at you when we are arguing. That was really wrong of me. I'm very, very sorry. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Hmm. It is well. And God is in control. That is all I can say. Sure. Um, I really have something to say. I know you love God, we love God too. But don't you think that this your obsession for the ministry is making our marriage go apart? That is what the devil wants you to think and see. And I would not encourage you to think in a mediocre way. Hmm? There should be more to marriage. More exciting things that partners get to do. But we're not doing any of it. We should find some things that we can do together and, and bond. But it looks like you don't care. I care. I am thinking about it. And I can tell you that our marriage is in accordance with the will of God. I can see it. I can feel it. We are doing just fine. And that is why we're role models to a lot of people in the ministry looking up to us. Okay. I'm going for a meeting. That's good. Just see the way I'm dressed. I look weird. Mm. You look like a virtuous woman. <sighs> want to be admired, want to be respected, want to emulate. And for the rest of my life, I will thank God Almighty for bringing you my way. I'll be attending to our important client today. I understand that. He's one of the biggest investors in our company. Mm. If I go looking like this, I'll look like a mediocre. He will not want to continue his investment with mm. us. I need to dress the way I want to be addressed. Okay, Daddy. See. See. What if I change? I'm not exposing myself for but something nicer. Yeah. Something that when they see me, they'll know that, okay, I mean business. Yeah. You know, I'm going to a work environment. Yeah. At least I can remove the scarf. I can wear heels. I can look really nice, you know? <laughs> Just so they, they appreciate me. And they don't see me like, oh, does this look like a church premises or something? Daddy, please. Yeah, please, can I? And I say, no, you cannot. I like the way you look. You look perfect. This is how I want you to look every time you go out for meetings and we're going to stick to it. Hmm? I want you to have a fruitful day. Okay. Thank you. 
I want you to have a blessed day. You too. How long are we supposed to hide behind a mask? How long are we supposed to put up this facade? Hi. Good morning, sir. I'm actually waiting for someone. I'm the one, sir. Are you sure you're the one sent to represent your company? Oh, yes, sir. My name is Mrs. Tana Uchiko. Can I see your, your view again? Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm a married woman, sir. And I'm actually here to discuss your line of projects you have up on your sleeves. No. Let's actually discuss how you're dressed. Do you think here is a church program? Oh, you're a chorister. You want to come and sing for me? I don't think you checked yourself in the mirror before leaving your house. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but that is not our line of discussion right now. Do you know my first impression of you? You look like a church beggar. Those people begging around the church. That's how you look like. Hey, are you here to steal from me? Oh, no, 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 not at all, sir. No, not at all. I'm not a thief, sir. That's a wrong impression of me, sir. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with the kind of person your company sent to me. I am not interested. Sir, sir, please, I beg you, sir. Our company is the best bet in actualizing your interests, sir. Just give us a trial. We will impress you, sir. Hmm. But I can't see that from the person standing before me. Your company must be very serious one. Sir, sir. Honestly, sir, Hon sir, please, to be honest with you, forget about how I'm dressed, sir. We can really do this, sir. We had some time to build a memory. A place our hearts will dance to a perfect symphony. You made me lose my job. Thank you. A bit of fallacy Is this how it feels to love a saint? Oh, can't you see The hurt and pain I feel Is this how it feels to love a Mommy, hmm. see, I don't know about you, eh? but I'm excited in my spirit. Excitement about what? About you. Something has always told me that you'd make a great chef. What? Oh, yes. You see, for all you know, this job that you lost could be the Lord's doing. Maybe the Lord is trying to change your direction. I need you to see it. I lost my job because of you. Not because of... Not because it's the will of God. What kind of man are you? Huh? Language. Language, mommy. Language. I am watching my language, daddy. Like, what is this? You want me to do chef job that I don't have passion or, 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 or interest in? Let me tell you something. I am your husband and I'm willing to support you with everything that you need to set up a bakery. At least you can start from there. The bakery. Yes, I'll see where it goes. I'm telling you the hand of God is in this. Now you have your own business. You don't have to be out there all the time. This will take you away from the eyes of men who are tigers. Oh, oh. Yes. 
I see where this is coming from. So the reason why you want me to become a chef or a baker is because you want me to stay away from the eyes of men. So you don't even trust me. So you're standing here and mocking me that I lost a job that I love so much? Telling me that it's the will of God? Mommy, you need to pray. You need to pray for direction. You need to pray that the Lord opens your eyes. It is you the Lord needs to open his eyes. So that you can see your full potential. Mm, I heard you. Yeah. Direction. 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 Uh, what is this? What kind of man did I marry? He's posing his insecurities on me? Oh God. I don't deserve this. Tana? Tana! <laughs> oh my goodness! Right! Tana, how are you? I'm fine! I'm good to see you! <laughs> good to see you! Wow! <laughs> Tana, really? I can't believe I'm staring at you right now! <laughs> it's Tana Ojuku now. I know you didn't hear the news. Oh, I actually heard it, but I was not in the country at the time. I just came back. <laughs> ah, good. Congratulations. Good to Thank be married. You. Let me see. Ah. Thank you. But where are you going to? Where are you coming from? Under the sun? I actually went for a quick interview here. I'm still in between jobs, hoping for God to give me a oh, better I one. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Let, let, let me drop you. <laughs> Thank you. Tana, Thank Tana. You. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, ah. So good to see you. <laughs> Thank I you. can't believe my, my eyes. Me too. I was surprised. I swear to ah, You are the last person I expected to see. Hey, honey. <laughs> I'm actually out with Tana. Okay. I'm wearing a pink top and a blue jean. Come on. Of course, you know I love you so much. <laughs> yes. Don't worry. When I come back to the house, it's going to be you and I. Or do you think we should eat out? Maybe a dinner date. Oh, how sweet. You got me a gown? Wow. That's so sweet of you, baby. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I would have done without you. You're simply amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, my darling husband. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, take care of you. Bye. I love you. Kiss, kiss. Bye. <sighs> Your husband. Yes. <laughs> so each of you, we just dress up and go and eat out like that? Of course. I mean, these are the things we do to spice up our relationship and to keep our romance going. <laughs> Enjoy, no? <laughs> my husband. Sorry, I have a message. Uh, my husband. Mommy, don't forget church meeting today by 5 p.m. Your husband? Mm. Okay, he was just reminding me about church service today. But oh. it's fine, I still have some time. Okay. Anyway. So where are people going to? I don't know. You know, the last time we went on a date night, he took me to one Asian restaurant at the island. Hey. hey. Guess what? What? Do you know this guy pulled off my ring? And he was like, dear wifey, hmm. will you marry me for the second time? I yeah. do you know. <laughs> See, this guy is just so sweet. I don't know if I would say my husband is a bunch of gifts given to me by God. Ever since I met this guy, I have not experienced sorrow. 
John is good, though. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that today he's going to take me to one of the best restaurants on the island again. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I'll be in church praying for you guys. <laughs> Thank you for deeming me worthy to partake in this interview. Like I said in my resume, I have quite a number of experiences in public marketing, brand awareness, business management as well. One, one of the most spectacular was when I created a blue... My apologies, man. My apologies, sir. As I was saying, I am very capable of doing a lot for your company. I am not only... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not only going to bring myself as Tana to your company, but I am going to create value... <laughs> value for your company. And I promise you, you will not regret it. I'm so sorry for the noise, sir. I'm so sorry for the noise, man. I'm just trying to let you know that I really do need this job. And I promise you, you're not going to regret Holy Angels to descend on us in the name of Jesus. So in the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 17, it says, From henceforth let no man trouble us. In our bodies, the mark of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, they have all every power of the enemy. Wait, every wait, person. Wait, 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 what is going on here? What is this? What is the meaning of this? Huh? Mommy. We're in a place of prayer. Must you bring down the roof because you people are praying? I was having an interview. Like, I don't get it. If you are praying, must you bring down the roof? Can't you go somewhere else to pray? Must it be here at this time, at this hour? Did I send you out to ruin my life? Oh, 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 mommy, please. We are sorry if our prayers affected you. All right, we are sorry. It's fine, please. You all should leave. Okay, leave this minute. Go, okay? I'll see you all in church. Just go. Please, go. I had an interview and people are just praying and disturbing me. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you too. Leave, please. Oh, God. Mommy. What was that about? Please. If you know what is good for me, do not call me mommy. Am I your mother? Did I kill your mother? Why do you want to kill me? I think that I have closed my eyes to your craziness in our home for too long. I'm going to ask you again. What was the meaning of that display? I told you. I told you I had a meeting, an important interview for 10 a.m. I pleaded with you. You chose no other time but that time to call your church members, pray so loud that I interrupted the interview and I didn't get the job. Did I send you to ruin me? Are you an agent of darkness or what? Agent of darkness indeed. I'm asking you. Mommy, are you an agent of darkness? You dare criticize my desire to pray in my home for my ministry. Must it be that time? Must it be the exact same 10 a.m.? Are you also an agent sent to, 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 to ruin my life? Watch your language, mommy. You are getting me angry. Oh, I have been so angry. I have been so angry for the longest of time. I can count and I'm still counting. Did I make a mistake to get married to a pastor? Why are you frustrating me? Oh my goodness. Ha! Huh. You could pray everywhere, anywhere. But why today by this time 10 a.m.? I've lost the job now. I hope you are happy. I hope you are happy now. Good evening, Anako. What is she talking about? <laughs> this place is really nice. Mm. I knew you would like it. 
I do. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me out. It's okay. I just know what to do to make you happy, and that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're right. You always know what the coolest spot. You know, you know. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, right. You know, you have food? Yeah, I will. But I just want to say something first. What is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the job you linked me up with got messed up. Messed up? Bye. Let's not talk about it. Oh. Your husband. Hannah, I could tell from your countenance they are not happy. This is all like you. You, you. you look older than your age. Everything has changed. Where is that glamour? Where is that brightness, the cuteness you used to have? Life happened. No. Your husband happened. But I'm not complaining. You don't have to complain. It's obvious. It's clear. Tana, you deserve to be happy. See, my husband is a good man. It's just that he's been extreme with church, the ministry. That's just My it. point exactly. Extremity is toxicity. You know what? I want you to know that I'm always here for you if you ever need anyone to talk to. All right? Thank you. And I also link you up with the other job. But I hope this time your husband will not ruin it. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Tana, Tana. But please, uh, when next we are meeting, I beg you, just spice it up. Wear something brighter than this, you know? I used to be now. Tana, have you forgotten? <laughs> I will try. <laughs> you should really try. You can do it. <laughs> Let's get back to the food. Yeah. Food is nice. Yeah, really nice. I mean, one of the best restaurants around. <laughs> Good evening. Mommy, where are you coming from? Well, I went to hang out with my friend. A friend? Yeah. Who is this friend? The friend who linked me up with the job interview that you ruined. Mm. Yeah. I know you want to ask if he's a man or a woman. Actually, he's a man. A man. Yes, a man. And I've known him for a very long time. Even before you existed in my life. Mommy, are you comparing me, your husband, to this friend? I am not comparing you with anybody. I'm just trying to let you know how long I have known this person. I don't like the sound of this. Of course I know. You say it's a sin. Me, I'm exhausted right now. Uh, mommy. Daddy. You seem to be quite excited with this. Actually, I'm very excited. Oh, well, as you get excited, I'll be happy to remind you that the Bible said that we should flee from temptations at all times. And what if I don't want to flee from this temptation? It is well. It is well. How excellent is your name, oh. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. Oh, how 
excellent is your name. How wonderful is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh God. How wonderful is your name. How excellent is your name. How wonderful is your name. Oh God. Worthy. Yes, you are worthy, my King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you, worthy. You are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, my King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Uh, uh, what is it now? Mommy, you see me trying to go into prayers. You're lying there, pressing your phone. Why are you not joining me in prayers? Because I am not interested. Everyone should learn how to pray on their own, please. I need my phone to find a job for myself, please. Please give me my phone, I need to find a job. You have been quite distant, Mommy. I see it, and I want to know why. You have missed out on a couple of church programs. Church members and committee members have been asking questions. They have noticed that you have not been attending. I see. What is going on? Oh, I see. So the reason why you are so concerned is because of your church. Your church. Our church. No, it's your church. It's your obsession. It's not anything about me. Right now, I'm just trying to lay low and find my own happiness. Please give me my phone. And where else do you intend to find happiness, if not in the Lord? <clears throat> Only God Almighty can give you true happiness and peace of mind. Have you been seeking happiness elsewhere? Oh, this has better not be what I'm thinking. Have you given yourself to the sins of the flesh? Or you think that you have found happiness with bright? So you now choose bright over our church programs. Church programs? Even if I followed you for that church program, it's more or less a camouflage because you do not care about my happiness. All you care about is the church, your church. I'm tired of looking happy in front of your congregation, your church, while you don't even care about how I feel. You don't care about my happiness. Please give me my phone. Continue with this, this job I'm looking for. It's not every day somebody will be ready for Wahala. Do you think that you have found happiness in Bright? Is that what you think? For I put it to you that that boy is an agent of darkness. There is nothing bright about him. For he has no respect for marriage, nor does he have respect for the sanctity and the institution of marriage. That boy is a weapon used by the enemy to destroy this marriage. But you cannot see it. And I ask you to rise up and fight this battle with me. For we have an agent of the devil hovering around you, but you cannot see it. Rather, I can tell you that there is nothing bright about that boy. He represents darkness in every aspect. He is a tool used by the devil to destroy this marriage. Rather, I am going to prove to him and his agents that what the Lord has brought together 
that no one can put asunder. I stand on the altar of grace. I stand by the power and the action of the Holy Spirit to wage war against the power of darkness, principalities and power of darkness. Waged against this marriage, they shall fall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rise and pray with me, my darling wife, for the enemy hovers around trying to snatch the happiness that the Lord has planted as a seed, as the base and the foundation, as the bedrock of this family. Rise and pray with me. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, I call upon your name. I stand upon your name and authority. Tana, you look happier today. Of course. <laughs> That's because I'm hanging out with you. You bring a very colorful vibe. Correct. And I like it. That's a lie. You bring a dark vibe. You bring a very dark vibe. There is nothing colorful about this dirty meeting between the both of you. I have caught you. Ah, mommy. Oh, God. <laughs> I catch you today. Pants down with your boyfriend. Oh my God. What, what? are you doing here? Oh, so you are the bride, eh? Uh, you are the bride. You know, there is nothing bright about you. Because you connote darkness. Darkness follows you everywhere that you go. Uh, you see, the path that you have chosen is a path of destruction. Eh? You are toasting and attempting to sleep with a pastor's wife. Uh, you see, I've heard so much about you, and it's really nice to meet you. It will, it will never be nice to meet you. Do you know what you have done? Do you know the punishment that awaits you? I'm asking you. You are threading the path of darkness. I tell you, and your punishment awaits you for the day of reckoning. It's coming. Oh, my God. Matthew 7, verse 7. Seek, and you shall find. Ask and shall be given. Knock and the door shall be opened. So what if I ask for your wife and, and, and I knocked at the door of your, 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 your wife's heart? Your boyfriend is quoting the scriptures and using the spiritual lines to try to toast my wife in front of me. Ah! <laughs> but you see, I'm not surprised. For even the devil was once an angel. So I'm not surprised that you know the scriptures very well. But I tell you that an arrow from the heavens will visit you soon. You know what? Take me with you, okay? Um, uh, uh, alright. Bye. Mommy. Mommy. Me, I don't know what you'll be doing here. Eh? What kind of problem is this? Eh? Mommy. Hey, leave me alone. This is what you do, Mommy. Drop me. I'm not dropping Mommy, you. Drop me. Me, I'm not dropping you. Drop we'll me. Drop, we are going back to the house. Mommy, drop me. We are going to the house. Mommy, you will drop me. Oh. I will not drop you. We are going to the house. Mommy, you we are going we to drop this me. this problem. We are going home. Really? <sighs> so, you have become so nonchalant that you now forget your role and responsibility as my wife. Daddy. 
Don't you think you're being too loud? I'm being loud. You tell me that I am being loud. Now let me ask you. What exactly would you have done with that boy if I was not in that car? Mm. Well, tell me. Instead of you to be apologizing for sneaking into the car like a thief, you hear what? Defending yourself and accusing me of what? I should apologize for trailing my wife. <laughs> I actually like the sound of that. But when you were busy thinking about your programs, ministry, prayer this, prayer that, Life session and all of that. Did you stop to think that I am your wife? Mommy. Obiora. You just called me by my name. Yes, I did. And if you want my advice, check on Google. Check the qualities of being a husband. A good husband. Then you can call me your wife. Yes, I forget. Don't you have any live session today, programs, prayer meeting with Pastor James? Please, because I'm in the spirit and I would like to join you. How long are we supposed to hide behind a mask? How long? Are we supposed to put up this facade? How long? Hmm, this food hits at the right spot. <laughs> it should, huh? <laughs> food is very filled. <laughs> Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So, um, how did it go with the new... That was the money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, mommy. <laughs> good we are just talking about how delicious this mm. rice is. Oh. You're welcome, mommy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank welcome. you. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Word with you for a minute, please. Of course, sure. Mm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please excuse me. All right, thank you. This rice, ah, mommy, mommy, this is the end of jollof rice. You did an amazing work with this. Let me. It was them. They could not get enough of the food. They kept asking me to come and get. I couldn't deny them. You know, they kept. Delicious. So, you invited the church members? Yes. Without informing me? Oh no, I invited our church members that you're familiar with to come and dine and wine with us, you know, with the love of the Holy Spirit. To come and dine and wine with the love of the Holy Spirit with my food that I prepared with my hard earned money and it was small. You didn't even deem it fit to reserve for me. Mommy, they will hear you. Relax. I should relax. Yes, these are people that we work with in the ministry. That's Pastor James. That's um, Sister Marao. The other one, you know her. She runs to you all the time for counseling. That's Sister Chile. Eh? And I'm happy that they came here hungry. You know, so that at least they would eat and be happy. 
that they came to mommy's house. These are people who work day and night to ensure that the ministry is going forward. You cannot compare rice to the kind of work that they put in at the ministry. Let them eat. What about me? Don't you know that I'll be tired, exhausted, and want to eat too? You couldn't even reserve for me. You just gave them the last food. Oh, okay, I'm hungry okay. now. Why will you do that? It's okay. I'll make you another jello fries. Okay. You make me another jello fries when? You don't know how to cook. Huh? Yes. Do you know say, how to cook? Don't say that. I'm, I'm, I'm a good chef. God. Relax, relax, God. Relax, 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 God. Relax. You don't care. Honestly, you're a very selfish man. You don't care. Just don't Mom, care. Mom, you need to learn how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So you don't get hungry at random. Eh? This, this is not... Tanya, you're so dear to me. When you're happy, I'm happy. When you're sad, I feel very bad about it. It's not like there's anything you can do about it. There is something I can do. What if you make him feel that you don't care about him anymore? That could bring about a recall in his life. What do you mean? I mean that you would walk away from every path he has made you walk on for his selfish gains. And then focus on your own path, the path that makes you happy. Just forget he exists. And I promise he will come back running to you. You think so? I know. I'm a man. I know what works. Yeah. Start coming. How far? Uh, wait. Uh. Oh my God! <laughs> what am I seeing? It's me. Babe, you look so good! Jeez! <laughs> you like? I so much love it! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank Joey, you. How? How did it happen? When? If I, I don't even care to know. My friend, you look so beautiful! <laughs> 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 You're making me shy now, but thank you. Thank you so much. And I love it. Turn around, turn around, turn around. I like this. It's so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. My father, my father. Is this what you have become, mommy? Is this what they did to you? I told you that association with that boy, Bright, will only bring darkness into your life. Darkness that will ruin you. Well, if you ask me, I don't see any life being ruined here. I want to see life getting better. You too? Can't you see how pretty she looks? Yes, she's pretty, but she looks better now. Bright is God sent. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> Babes, I have to go, okay? Thanks. You look so good. You look so good. <laughs> thank Take you. Care thank of you. you. Bye. <laughs> bye, darling. Bye. Call me when you get home. Josh, I will. Okay. <sighs> Indeed, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So you now gang up with your friend against me, your husband. I don't understand. Is she not telling the truth? What truth? I mean, look at me now. Just look at me. Can't you see how good I... No, I don't. Uh, you look terrible. That's not true. Because I look great. And I know that. You see? The era of understanding wife is over. Henceforth, I am going to do what makes me happy. And looking good makes me happy, my darling husband. This is how I'm going to be. 
Just appreciate good things. Ah, ah, look at it. I even tried. I used YouTube to learn how to do makeup on me. You should be grateful. Ah, ah, appreciate somebody. Let me make a small video. Okay. <laughs> ah. Hey. Master James. That boy. That boy has a strong hold on my wife and it worries me. You know, Daddy, <clears throat> the devil is all about destruction. And I'm certain he is at it again. What do you suggest that I do? Take you to God in prayer and let it be. Hmm. I see. You know, your main focus now should be the ministry and nothing. Not even your wife should be a distraction. I see. Very good. I, I, can, I can promise you on that. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Tana! Well, no, what Tana, you... the Tana. Come on. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Go away, go away. Don't have a married woman. I know, but I mean. <laughs> well, it's nice, though. It's really can... nice. Yes, we should I do this often, you know? Yes, we should. I wish we had some time to build a man. Oga, 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 it is you have come to say. Don't think because I'm a pastor, you can sit on my head and balance well. I can be calm, but I can also be very violent. I'm telling you now, for even the kingdom of God is violent. Do not bring the violent side of me out. Stay away from somebody's wife. That's a pastor's wife. Mr. Man, you need to relax. I need to relax. Relax. I need to relax. Have you received a punch from a pastor before? Oh, my God. See, you're the one taking your wife away from yourself. Can't you see? I don't care who you are, whether you're a pastor or not. I am an advocate for women being treated well, okay? You don't care who I am. Yes. You don't care who I am. No, yes, you don't, no, you don't, you don't care who I am. See, I'm telling you, you don't, you don't care who I, I am. Don't to these people, this, this, this left hook is really bad. You don't, oh this left hook is, is you bad. Down, you, 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 don't, you, don't know, you don't care who I am. You need to calm down. They are telling me to you calm down. looking at you. You're a pastor, you're a role model to these people. Mr. Bright, there is nothing bright about you. You reek of darkness. Stay away from my wife, else you are going to get it. I'm warning you now. It's a talk, talk I'm warning you now. I am your husband. I am your husband. I have a crown on your head. Mommy, you are my wife. I deserve your support. More like the slippers on your feet. The 
that is tired and worn out. And now, I've seen better days. It is well. It is not well. Nothing is well. As a matter of fact, nothing about this marriage is well. You calling me mommy is not well. We're not exploring this marriage as two people in a marriage is not well. We're not having good sex as a partner is not well. As a matter of fact, our sex life is boring. You're not taking care of me. Taking your ministry as a priority over our marriage is not well. You not getting a job. You asking me to start a bakery business because of your insecurity is not well. Nothing is well. Not until you see that. I'm not going to have this conversation anymore with you. Because I am tired. Oh, while you're hanging out with that boy, he's also not fine. You're my wife. Hmm? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Are you, by any means, considering divorce? Your first guess is the answer. Excuse me. God bless you, Mama. Pastor James. Yes, Mama. Is eavesdropping now part of your ministerial duties? I'm sorry, Ma. God bless you. <coughs> Daddy? It is well. It is well. It is well. Yes. <sighs> Ah, uh, I'm sorry I came at the wrong time. It is well. It is well. Are you here? That, Daddy, please, I, I... I didn't intend to tell anybody, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, please, forgive me. You know, I... Most times we try as much as possible to keep our mouth shut. You sound foolish. Can you hear yourself? I'm sorry. Huh? That, Daddy, please. You know, this is just a distraction set up by the devil. The devil? In this case, you are the devil. How do the church members get to hear the troubles going on in my home? You are the only one with the knowledge of what happens in my home. How did they hear of it? And now you blame the devil? You have made yourself a tool for the devil to use. Uh, Daddy, please. I, I, I didn't tell anyone besides um, Brother Moses, Brother Collins and, 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 and Sister Chini. And I told him not to tell anybody. You have no idea how silly you sound. I am so disappointed in you, Pastor James. Uh, Very disappointed. Get out of my premises. Daddy, please. Get out before the heavens descend on you. Sorry. God, God bless you, sir. Mm church 
gossiping and talking about our marriage. And now I have just found out that Pastor James has been stealing from the church. And I can't help but wonder what this scandal will do to the ministry. You see, what your humble disciple, Pastor James, did to you serves you right. Well, I'm not surprised. All innocent in front of you, but a wild bear behind your back. It's the same thing as you and I. I follow you, I try to be a good wife, a good mother to your church, but then you never look at me. So I'm not surprised. Mommy. We have to do something. Hey. We cannot allow the ministry fall. <laughs> we. Oui. Anyway, like you said the other day, that is the will of God that I lost my job. I also think it's the will of God that this ministry is failing. Let it just fail so that everybody will rest. Please, minus me from this we business. It's not we again, it's you. Mind your business, let me mind my own business. Mommy, you can't say this. I've said it all. You cannot talk mm. like an unbeliever. <laughs> You're a child of God. <laughs> you have to work with me. Biko. You have to pray with me. Biko, please, I'm not ready for that. Face your problem, let me face my own. Mommy. I had the news. Of course you did. This is so sad. Yes, it is. So what now? Hmm. My sister, a lot though. A lot is going on currently. Church funds missing. Pastor James, assistant pastor was found guilty of stealing church funds. What? And not only that, gossips here and there, a lot of church members have left the church and they're still carrying out investigation on if there's any other person or people that are involved in the missing funds in church. Pastor is broken, he's crying, he's... Like, it's just a lot. A lot is going on, and it's really bad. Wow. This is a big mess, you know. A very big mess, my darling. Pastor. He can't sleep. He's restless. He's always praying, looking for oh. listening ears on my shoulder to cry. And I'm like, I beg, I beg. Me? Tana, I don't have space for that. You don't have space for of your course. husband? I don't. Come on, you are supposed to stand by him. This is the time he needs you the most. What do you mean by he needs me? When I needed him, where was he? I beg, let nobody stress me. Everybody should face their problems. Really? Yes, really. Is it now a payback? Do me, I do you. <sighs> Tana, stand by that man. Get him back on track. At least use the opportunity to create the man you want for yourself. Take advantage of the situation. Why just leaving him all to himself? The man is going through a lot. Uh, 
I'll think about it. You will think about it? Mm-hmm. This is your husband we're talking about here. I know. But I'm just still really angry and mad at him. Why? Like I said, I would think about it. Okay? I won't support you in this one, though. I know. You always support what is right and what is wrong, so it's okay. Have you realized your wrongs now? It has been a, a very tough. of regrets. Days of finding new knowledge. And days of realization. I am sorry. I really am. Sorry for not being there for you as a husband. I'm sorry. I want you to know that there is a backstory to this. I grew up in a very strong Christian home. As you know, my father was also a man of God. And we were made to believe that godliness and holiness is the only way to heaven. And so a lot of things were not allowed in our home. No dancing, no party, no singing. If you had to sing at all, it would be you singing songs of praise and worship. No flamboyant dressing. We're not allowed to throw parties or receive guests. Except for church programs. Hmm. You know, um... Because doing all of that would be you committing sin. Love was out of it. My father address my mother. Same way I address you. As mommy. I was not taught how to be romantic. I did not know how to love. I didn't know what it, it meant to be there for your partner. Emotionally, and how much it would mean to them if you were there for them in that capacity. But you see, as I as I grew up, I I had a few questions about that rigid lifestyle, but I was already shaped. 
I did not know how to unlearn. I did not know what else to do. I want you to tell me the kind of husband you want. Really? Well, I want a husband who shows me so much affection, love, that is romantic, sweet, pets me, pampers me, takes me around like we can go on dates. Not the one who takes me to church for just church services, church programs and events. One who listens to me that we can communicate, be romantic in bed, try new stuff, explore, go on vacations together. A kind, sweet type of man. I want to enjoy marriage. I want to feel this happiness, this, this joy, this fun in marriage and not be so bored. I don't want a boring marriage. I want a loving man. That's what I want. What if I tell you that I am willing to do all of these things that you have mentioned? Really? Because I want our marriage to work. I am willing to unlearn and relearn with you. I am willing to get on this journey because you're worth it. I have realized also that you can serve God and also find balance in doing so. You can serve God and, and be romantic. You can serve God and love your wife. And I just want to love my wife and serve God. <laughs> can do that. You know what? How about we start with a five minutes hug? We've never had hugs that have lasted more than five seconds since we got married. If we if we would hug that all. <laughs> oh my god, it hugs it. <laughs> I understand you. I understand where you're coming from. I believe things are going to be better ahead of heart. of re reaffirmation um, gifts breakfast in bed hugs and kisses public display of love and affection Sweet love making. Jesus Christ. 
constant love making. Explore your partner's body during love making. It is well. The Lord is in control. It is well. This for you. Breakfast in bed. That's what they call it, right? <laughs> I hope that you love it, my love. Yeah, I. I... My love. Yes, baby. Did you just call me my love? Yes, my love. <laughs> this is new. I am new. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love this new you. And everything about us, baby. Hmm? Come here. <laughs> Wait. You just did this? Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it so much. I love this new you. I you want to kiss again? Of course. <laughs> Call it again. Call me that name again. My love. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to prepare something really special for you. And we're going to have a good day, a sweet day. Oh, I love this version of you. Thank you, baby. So meditating. You know that um, we can't forget God. Of course. Even under the present circumstance, He remains God. Sure. And God always. <sighs> right. About that, I think we can start afresh. Oh, no. I'm not sure. What if this is the will of God for us? So I thought. But then I guess God wanted us to learn something. And we've learned that. So it's time for us to come back. 
better and stronger. You know, serving God is so good. It's great. But we shouldn't allow it to conceal our eyes to other important things around us. I think God wants us to know how to balance our marriage and the ministry. <laughs> and I know you love the ministry. Oh yes, I do. So, how about we go on evangelism. We win more souls, bring more people to church, more online services. I bet you more people are going to come to the church because you are a powerful man of God. <laughs> I just love you, baby. And I love you too. Oh, such a beautiful mind. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank you too. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Shall we pray? Of course. Well, you lead us in prayer. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for our marriage. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Gorgeous time. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy you're happy. I am happy. And thanks to you again <laughs> for being there for me. It's okay. <laughs> Young man. You again? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not asking God for your wife. I'm not. What is this man doing in our home? Well, this is the perfect time to introduce the both of you. This is Bright, my second cousin. He was out of the country on our wedding day. So... What? <laughs> yes. You don't say what, your cousins? Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> of course. Yes way. <laughs> what, you two are cousins? Yeah. We are cousins. Second cousins. So what's all the stunts about? Well, it was to make you jealous. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, it worked. It worked. Young man, you gave me quite a scare. <laughs> uh, you got me worried. That was the plan. It sure worked. <laughs> <laughs> I had sleepless nights. I thought that you were coming for my wife. Oh, but it's taking me away from you. No. Uh, don't trouble the Son of God. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome to the family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Administration was good today. Um, Yes, it was good today. <laughs> it was surely good. It was good. Yeah, I even invited him to church. Yeah. For Wednesday service? Yes. Oh, yes, please. We have a midweek service. Mm. Uh, and um, you have to be there. I will be there. It's usually spirit filled. Mm. Uh, I hope <laughs> that you can make it. It's 5 p.m. every Wednesday. Okay. Uh, yes. And one more thing. Since you're now a member of the family, I'll be happy to invite you to the... Um, should I invite him? Of course, honey. We'll have a fundraiser. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yes, for I the see. end of the month. That's you see, the ministry is growing in leaps and bounds, mm. and we're looking at spreading across the coast of West Africa. I see. So we're raising funds so that the ministry can move to another site in Ghana. I see. Please come, and don't forget to bring a friend. That's okay. Or two. That's okay. I'll try. Huh? I'll try. Well, it's Thank been you. a long Thank day. You. I would like to catch some rest. That's all right. Sweetheart. All right. I'll go into her with you. Oh, no, no, it's okay. No, it's Walk fine. It was working. Bye, bye. Let me go in with my husband. Yeah, right, bye. bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> huh. What are you up to this time? your letter <sighs> god god yeah, not I know. again please i understand past few years i understand but please give me a chance okay i'm all ears I go. 
Ah, yes. Please. All right. Why am I panicking? <laughs> please, whatever it is, don't start with John 316, please. <laughs> the very first day I set my eyes on you, Tana, I knew that fate had given me gold. Your dazzling smile, your beautiful eyes, your beautiful melanin skin, your humble soul made me realize that God has Indeed, you made me the luckiest man of my generation. Oh. And so I kid you not when I tell you that you're the light of my life. I will choose you over and over again <laughs> because you complete me as a man <laughs> and as a husband. <laughs> Tana, mm -hmm. you are my life. And I love you. And I love you too, my husband. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. <sighs> I did good, huh? <laughs> yes, and I'm going to keep this for our children to see. <laughs> so, baby, today is our weekly online service. And I'll be joining you. I'm tired. Tired. Not in the mood. Nah, you can't be tired for the ministry work. Mm. Never. Uh, uh, babe, why would you say that you are tired? No, there's no tiredness in the ministry at all. <laughs> We're doing this together. Baby, come. Come, my love. Please, just come. Come, come. Okay. We can do this together, trust okay. me. Okay. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay. All right. Please help me. Set this up first. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. Yes, you can. Uh, three, two, one. Well, hi. Good evening, everyone. And you're welcome to another weekly live service. And... I am excited to be doing this with my husband. <laughs> well, for the past three weeks, we have been through a lot as members of the church and as the champions of the ministry. We all know that life is filled with ups and downs. We have had our down moments. So, as children of God, this is the perfect time to get back up. And we cannot do this alone, right, baby? Yes, baby. <laughs> we need your support. Mm -hmm. We need you to join your faith with ours and support us on this journey. I love my husband so much. I love him so, so much. And I'm going to be with him and support him all the way and I need you all to support us too we are going to have a great service we are going to have a great ministry and I know it's the plan for the devil for the ministry to fail it will not fail children of God always get back stronger and better right amen <laughs> amen all right um, see you all in church on Sunday. And before we go, I'd like to let them know that I love my wife and I'm going to keep loving you <laughs> till the wheels fall off. Yes, till the wheels fall off. <laughs> All right, see you in church on Sunday. Bye. <sighs> you see, he wasn't that bad. Hello. 
keep pretending if I may ask It's so long, so long A time to be so happy yet so sad 